Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from kbandstraining.com. We're gonna be doing a lot of exercise today with the broad jump. Why use the broad jump? The broad jump is an excellent measurement of power and explosiveness. It teaches us to utilize our hip flexors, bringing them up, getting our feet up out of the way and really get great extension in the hips. Today, we'll be optimizing our broad jumps with the reactive stretch cord. It's a great anchoring tool that gives us just the amount of resistance to where we can still get great broad jump form and then add a twist to it with some sprint outs. Notice now in the drill, we've got a cone set up a little bit deep. The reactive stretch cord stretches anywhere between 20 and 22 feet. So we wanna work within those distances. Now that doesn't mean that you can only work to that distance. It means that you have to have an active anchor. Notice I'm moving my feet with the athlete. Notice I'm gaining ground forward. So my distance of resistance never goes over 20 feet and I'm adding just the amount that the athlete needs to stay consistent throughout each jump. We don't want them to feel more and more and more. We wanna get a good level resistance so we've got great body control and we develop power through every jump. It's not just the last one. As they get to that last jump, they're then gonna spin around, rip with the shoulder, get over the cord, and then you're gonna accelerate out. Now here the band will reach near its end point as they accelerate, and that's just fine. But you wanna make sure that they get up and they start sprinting and then toss that cord out of the way so it doesn't get in wrapped around their feet or anything like that. Be conscious of your training. Drills like this will never give you any results if you're not doing the little things right. The broad jumps should stay consistent on the way out. The turning and sprinting should never cause any overstriding. We've gotta stay with them and make sure that you're giving them that just amount of resistance. Watch the athlete, make sure their running form stays consistent as they sprint out. This one may take a little bit of practice, but I think you're gonna do just fine. Grab your reactive stretch cord and get to work today.